I'm Kevin Berger. What defines success in America? Is it owning your own business, owning your own home? How about earning a college degree? For refugees and immigrants in this country, success in the traditional sense may sometimes seem impossible to obtain. However, in the Twin Cities, the African Development Center is there to support African immigrants and refugees with resources and education on their path to success. Nasibu Sareva is the executive director of ADC and joins us on this edition of Newsmakers. Nice to see you. Great to be back, Kevin. Tell me about some of the work that you do at the African Development Center. What is your role and mission? Uh, we uh, help to start and sustain small businesses, uh, build wealth, and promote community reinvestment. So we uh, do trainings and we uh, do uh, business uh, support and business lending. I know something else that you do is you help people buy that first home. Um, why is it important to to be part of the American tradition of home ownership for the for the population you serve? As our mission says uh, pretty clearly, uh, we help to uh, build wealth, and building wealth here in the United States uh, means purchasing home. Purchasing a home is uh, the biggest investment uh, in any middle class family, and when people or the community uh, is purchasing home means tells you that uh, they are here uh, to stay and that's uh, you know one of the uh, uh, most proudest time that they have mm -hmm. in their life been mm -hmm. here in the United States. Putting down those roots. Yes. Now when you talk about business loans to small businesses you have really grown quite quickly in the number of businesses that you've been able to support financially. Yes Kevin we have started uh, our business development program in uh, year 2009 with a very small uh, loan of $25,000 <laughs> uh, we have a loan portfolio of over million six uh, over six million dollars right now mm -hmm. uh, we have helped very small businesses uh, moms and pops businesses and we have seen these businesses grow uh, business started hiring more people uh, businesses started going to the second stage. We have financed uh, uh, pretty much uh, all businesses across the industry right now. So we're seeing very sophisticated businesses like uh, pharmacy, mm -hmm. uh, agent cares, mm -hmm. uh, child uh, daycare centers, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the, the business owners have been hiring a lot more people right now, uh, and they're actually uh, providing uh, benefits. And, and good jobs. And good jobs. Absolutely. Uh, now, wage. You were telling us that uh, you recently traveled to Scandinavia, where some of those countries are also seeing an influx of uh, African immigrants and refugees, and they are looking at modeling some of their work after what you do. What was that experience like? Uh, it was it was quite an amazing experience, uh, Benny. I just came back from uh, uh, Norway, uh, Sweden, uh, and Denmark. Mm -hmm. And uh, in those countries whereby we have a lot of uh, African uh, refugees uh, and immigrants, uh, people are trying to do some of the great work that we do here in Minnesota. Uh, we have hosted uh, delegations from uh, Norway, Sweden, Finland, uh, hmm. Denmark, and all those countries are trying to integrate these African communities into their system. They have completely different systems mm -hmm. compared to the system that we have here in the United States, but with the work that we do at the African Development Center, we have been able to impact uh, some of the good things that uh, they can actually do to help the African communities in those countries. Well, congratulations on the work that you do. You really do make it a small world from Africa to Minnesota to Europe and back. Thank you again for joining us today to tell us more about the African Development Center. If you'd like to learn more about the work of the ADC, how you can learn more and support their work, adcminnesota.org. And that's it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Kevin Berger. Thanks for watching.